Hey there and welcome to the Random Review Channel. So today's review is these here little bad boys here. They are non-contactless digital voltage detectors. Um, now the reason why this here, I have two of them and they're different brands. So this is going to be a dual review um, because as you can see, these here are identical products down to the uh, the non-disposal, the CE marking and the battery orientation in the bottom. They're exactly the same product. I made in the same factory and just rebranded um, to whatever distributor um, wants to sell them on. So um, we'll just pick one because the functionality of them is exactly the same. Okay, so we'll go with this one here. Um, I should say that this here yellow one is from a company called Neotech. And this here blue one, just before we throw it away, is from this company here, T-H-S-I-N-D-E. Now, I've received a few things from this here company. Um, they do buy these generic products and rebrand them and sell them on. Um, this here, for instance, is the same company, um, and these here are rebranded by a thousand different companies. Um, they look exactly the same, um, and yeah, they all come out of the same factory. So they seem to sort of specialize in buying these generic uh, electronics products um, and rebranding them and selling them on. So that's not to say they're a bad company. I've actually had uh, some really good products from them, but uh, although this is a joint review, I'll just uh, pick one of them, and then this review will be on both items, just in case you sort of see the same review. So. Um, the idea of these here being that uh, they can detect the electromagnetic field um, given off by electricity, basically. Um, so if there is electricity flowing through cables or if it's, uh, for instance, if it's um, the clock in your microwave or if your microwave is running, this here can detect it. And the stronger the electromagnetic um, field, um, the further away this can detect it. So um, I'll just give you an example. So here is an extension lead, okay? And the functionality is there's a torch um, on the top of it, if I just sort of do that. Um, and then you use this here button to switch it on. So before I switch it on, I'll just screw the bottom off and it takes two AAA batteries. These here actually came with it, uh, Green Max um, AAA batteries. So they're cheap, um, crappy wee batteries. Um, but um, because it doesn't use a lot of power, they seem to last quite a long time. So um, I'll screw that on. Okay, so once we switch it on, you can see that because it's close to this here, if I move that away, actually, it's probably going to be set off very um, easily here because there's there's lights on this here rig here, so it's probably going to pick up that up. But if we switch this on, um, as you can see, if we move this closer, okay, so it can. I'll switch it off so it can detect the electricity going through the plugs it's very handy if you're doing any wiring around your house um, possibly you shouldn't be but if you're doing any sort of electrical work around your house and you're concerned if there is um, juice going through the the, the cables and um, it doesn't actually have to be in that it can be on a bare bit of cable as well so if we switch this on if we put it to the cable um, you can see that uh, it equally goes the closer it is the cable so what that means is this here little uh, readout goes from low to high. So the higher up the scale it is, um, the higher the voltage or the, the stronger the electromagnetic current. It's actually a very handy tool to use on your microwave. Um, you can use it to test uh, um, the sort of electromagnetism given off by that because historically microwaves give off quite a lot. Um, and there is limits to how much they're meant to give off. But I know certainly our old microwave, if I got within two feet of it, this here started going... Um, berserk uh, which isn't great because it means then if you're within two feet of this here you're getting affected by an electromagnetic current or field sorry so um, yeah it's not great it's a handy little device um, cheap as chips really handy to have about the house if you're doing any DIY projects as well um, and yeah there's not much more I can say it has a clip on it it can clip onto your shirt in your pocket um, and you can carry it about or it can clip onto anything really uh, the torch really isn't good for an awful lot because there's not a lot of um, sort of throw on it it's handy if you're in pitch black possibly and you want to see sort of, sort of uh, the inside of a plug or something depending on it. But apart from that, it's pretty crap. Um, but yeah, that's sort of, that's it. And this one here is identical to the functionality in every way um, except the brand and the color. So um, it seems to actually be like an ABS plastic, by the way, I should say. So it should be pretty hard wearing. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.